So Linux Mint is one of the most recommended distros for beginners or for people who are switching from Windows and that is for a good reason. So starting out you can check out we have the Wi-Fi interface and you can actually see the percentage the strength of the Wi-Fi connection so you can easily choose between which one to connect to. Now another one of my favorite feature is this Dexlets which are basically widgets. So we have some pre-installed like the clock or the battery indicator and then you can just simply click and add them to your home screen and adding these widgets just transforms your whole home screen setup and they look much more appealing we have also the option to download additional widgets from the online store so you have that flexibility here now coming to the wallpaper collection we have the option for different wallpaper collection from their previous versions as well and they have some good collections that you can easily just click on and they will be applied we also have a windows like start menu which also acts as an app launcher so we have all the applications and shortcuts for applications and also the power menu so you can access it all from here and another very helpful and one of my favorite feature is the built-in app store that we have and this has a lot of applications across all ranges and the best thing is that uh, not only the default system repository but we also have the flat back the flat hub or flat pack repository which uh, means you can easily get the latest version for all the applications from that repository so that is an added bonus here and once you check out the categories wise like we have this flat pack uh, category and we have all the drop trending applications that you can think of like steam uh, signal browser or different emulators here so on that front you are sorted and we get the libreoffice built in for all your office work so this is the ms word alternative we also get one for the ms excel these act as a great alternative to the ms office but we can also use applications like play on linux to install some old versions of of the windows applications here like the ms office older version like 2010 old photoshop and some games as well so you can use that you can install this from the app store as well and what we can also install is the steam applications to run some pc level games and once you have installed the steam applications you can just simply click on that desktop icon and this will launch the whole steam deck ui and this is like a an os of itself so and after it's launched you can see this is the new ui we have and all of it works really smooth without any issues and once you are there i will suggest you to go to the menu from the bottom left side and here in the settings um, go to the compatibility options and here just enable the uh, enable steam play for all the other titles and it's gonna use some uh, emulators to run the even windows games that are not supported on linux like i've tried this combat master which is available on android and windows and this is a very small game so it's easier to test it out so i just uh, click on play and without any issues it starts the game normally it will be say it's unsupported but now it's working without any issues and i'm playing this game while i'm screen recording so they are lags but without it it runs very smooth without any stutters and uh, i had a really great experience playing it it was unbelievable for me at first time so yes, if you want to play some PC level games, you can definitely do that. Of course, you need at least a decent that can handle these uh, smaller titles as well. Enemy down. Target eliminated. Now if you're coming from Windows and if you want to use Microsoft Edge, you can also download that using the App Store and it works like very similar without any issues. You won't even know that you're using a um, Linux system and so you can easily enjoy Microsoft Edge. But personally I use the Google Chrome browser which also I have to download from the App Store and you get the same experience here as well. The extensions and the multi-profile support, all of it is here. And we also have something called the web app support here. So what you can do is uh, create and install the website as an application 
and if you used chrome os flex it works just like that so you don't have to enter the um, the website address or bookmark you can simply open it up just like an application and it works really good so if you have a most visiting websites you can convert them to web apps and use it now coming to the settings we have a, a very old school looking like settings but all of them are really functional and works without issues so they haven't fixed is if it's not broken uh, something like that so and we have some themes option and we have a lot of uh, themes that we are installed and also have installed some third party ones and actually i'm running on a, a ubuntu theme right now and if i applied and change it to this uh, mac os inspired you can see we have some rounded edges and uh, i will change back to ubuntu that I was using so we can get the a nice transparency and everything in the ui which looks much better and you can also download it from the online so we have a lot of options there as well and it's all built in you do not have to uh, side load it and everything we also have a lot of options for the file uh, the icons as well and also um, the cursor and the style so all of them can be customized just using the theme option in the settings all of the options are very similar to any of the linux distro um, uh, that may you have seen before and if you go to the terminal you can check out that i have a ryzen 2500u and 8 gb of ram and uh, it is running on the cinnamon desktop environment uh, some of the cool applications that we have pre-installed we have an advanced calculator uh, and uh, we have also a backup tool an image writer if you want to create some bootable pen drive another very helpful tool that we have pre-installed is this backup an application that we can use to create a whole system backup that includes all your personal files and applications and this is really helpful if you want to do a major update of the OS and if you do not want to risk losing your files you can simply create a backup to your desired location and then just restore it using this option and coming from Windows if you're missing the phone link the Windows phone link option you can easily download the KDE connect app is another really helpful application to connect your android phone to your windows not windows but linux computer so you can send files and uh, use it as a, a, a mouse you can send files back and forth and you can locate it as well you can check out all these options on your phone a really helpful tool if you're planning to use it as a replacement for windows performance wise as well linux mint is quite smooth and since the OS is so frequently updated, you can be rest assured of its security as well. And if you want to learn how to install it, I will leave a detailed guide in the description with all the links. So that was it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.